each hand. Take a back step behind you and then do a bicep curl in the front. Now my speed may be a little faster than what you're used to. You may go ahead and follow me or you may pause your video and make sure that you're doing 12. So that will be a total of 12 bicep curls. It's one movement at a time. So first you do your lunge, then you complete your bicep curl. Then you go into the next lunge, complete your bicep curl. Counting up to 12 bicep curls. Okay, I'm dropping my knee all the way to the floor. Do your best to do the same. Then we're going to move into a top loaded lunge. Top loaded just means that both dumbbells are up against the shoulders here. You're loaded at the top and you're going to continue to do your squats in a row up to 12. Again, pretending like you're sitting in a chair and you can even put a chair behind you as a guidepost if you feel like that will be a little bit more helpful to know that you're going down deep enough. Okay, and then you're going to move on to burpees. Um, now burpees Essentially, this is a modified version. What you're doing is you're getting yourself all the way down onto the ground and then you're standing back up. Oftentimes when doing a burpee, um, most people come to the conclusion that their hips are very tight. So if you need to take a couple of steps just to get your feet up toward your hands, that's completely fine. Again, it's really just you getting down under the ground, all the way down to your stomach and chest, and pushing back up and stepping. Okay, it may not be graceful, but that's okay. It will really get your heart rate up, and it's part of the workout that will call your conditioning. Doing 12 of these is probably gonna be the most challenging part of this workout for you. Um, so if you need a little break afterwards, that's fine or you can consider the next exercise as being a little bit more of a recovery because the next exercise will then go into what's called good mornings. I've got the dumbbells rested on my shoulders and I'm holding into the front so they don't fall off my shoulders when I lean forward. I have a soft bend in my knees and really what I'm doing is getting a nice hamstring stretch with my abdominals nice and braced and my shoulder blades pulled back. I'm working a lot of my core muscles hips, abdominals, lower back. Um, again, getting that nice stretch into the hamstrings and also working my shoulders just a little bit. Um, again, 12 of these good mornings with both dumbbells resting on your shoulders. And then finally, the last exercise in the circuit is going to be bent over dumbbell rows. So I'm gonna to stand to the side here so you can see it nice flat back. You're going to pull the dumbbells up toward the belly button rather than up toward your chest. So you're pulling a little bit lower um, than you traditionally see people pull. Okay, so bent over rows. Again, my abdominals are drawn in nice and tight. My shoulder blades are down away from my ears and I'm doing 12 rows 